Oh, boy, a lot of crazy stuff happening today, even though it's Friday, but that's okay. You know, I always try to take at least one day off for exactly these reasons. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm feeling a little better uh, from sickness. Uh, I'm sure if I eat something later or very soon, I should say, I should be, uh, you know, I should be feeling much better. And I had a good night's sleep last night, so tonight when I get another good night's sleep, I should be good. Okay, so like I've been saying as of today's videos, I've been doing this yield wool stuff, and this is just so awesome. Like this, this is like the perfect solution for like the hardcore DeFi, you know, money maker, right? I think we're called DGens or something for degenerates, <laughs> uh, which has a different connotation to me because I'm thinking more of like you know the right wing uh, version of degenerates, where like we're cursing out like woke sjws and stuff so i don't know it's like everything's starting to blur now so that's why i'm not using the word the term degens anymore but whatever you know uh, you guys can it's okay if you guys use that term i don't really care um so i gotta, stay, I gotta stop saying um so much okay so I'm now in Cream Finance. I think I've got like a few hundred bucks in this project. Because right now what I'm basically doing is as I cover these projects, I put like 60 to 120 bucks, right? Because that's currently all I can kind of spare because I don't want to keep raiding my existing projects because I need them to keep compounding so I make more money. But obviously I need to put something in here otherwise I get nothing, right? So it's also a nice way to pretty much spread out my risk a little bit, right? Because you know, because... So far, every single project I've been in, like they have not rug pulled, which is another reason why I like these tomb forks so much. So I've got, and we've got a lot of projects in the queue for content queue. So I'm gonna be pumping out videos for quite some time. Okay, so I knew about this before. It's called Ice Cream Finance, right? Dot app, and they also kind of announced that they will come out with Sunday Finance, which is the three own version of Ice Cream for a. I don't know, maybe in a couple weeks or whatever. But the TVL on this is already 3.1 million. So these guys have been around for quite some time. They're way above PEG. They're maintaining their PEG very well. And more importantly, this is actually something I still need to go over eventually with the strategy too. I don't talk too much about this, but I really should. You got to look at the circulating supply of the base tokens and the shares. That gives you a rough idea of what the price really should be. Obviously, the circulating supply of the base tokens, in this case, is called cream or ice cream, is too high. You can kind of figure it out. The price is going to go down, right? That's kind of the reason why, you know, Snow Tomb, Frozen Tomb, and Zilla Finance are, you know, have really shitty prices on the base tokens and therefore brings down the shares of those projects because there's too much circulating supply. Now, the good news is they're all, they're obviously fixing it. So, you know, I'm very happy with what's going on I'm big chilling I'm auto compounding on yield wolf for all my projects hey you know I'm all I want to buy everything the more shit I can buy ultimately the more money I make right and then if I need money which obviously I do I pull out a little bit from the my compounded gains from yield wolf it's great even though you're gonna be paying a little more gas fees just just do it once or twice a day once when you wake up once when you go to bed because now you don't have to deal with compounding anymore, right? Because this is an auto compounder, right? You don't have to deal with the fees anymore. Right? You only deal with the fees when you pull out a little bit of money. And it's, yeah, it's like about uh, off peak, 1.9% of an AVAX. On peak, just forget about it. You're going to be paying like 4 or 5% of an AVAX. That's like a few bucks. You're essentially using Ethereum at that point. It's like, you know what? I'll just, I'll just wait. I'll just wait, right? Just wait for off peak, especially because today is Friday right now. So everyone's going to be, I mean, it's already the weekend Saturday over in like uh, Eastern Hemisphere, Asia. And soon it will be uh, Saturday for the Europeans. So you're going to have plenty of time. So anyway, the peg is pretty good because the circular supply is pretty low. And they do have quite a bit of shares out there. But because the peg so strong, C shares is generally pretty decent in price. But however, it has gone down a little bit. I think I bought in a couple days ago of C shares at let me see I don't remember like 600 bucks 550 or 500 I mean I don't really care because if this dips I mean then I just make more money from DCA compounding anyway so yeah I just love yield wolf I just can't believe I didn't use this before I always saw a compounder I was like nah whatever 
but again, thankfully, God is changing my heart and my mind. So, you know, I'm very happy he finally got through to my thick skull. Hey, you know, start doing auto compounding. So it works out really nice. And here's the yield wolf for ice cream finance. Uh, I guess before we do it, we can look at the chart. All right, this is cream, the base token, right? The typical like up, uh, up and down from the Genesis pool. So you can clearly see that the all time low was somewhere around $16.76. Wow, what a bargain. This is also why I like buying new projects at the bottom because I want to buy basically what ice cream finance is doing now at the shit at, it's hard to see because the at the bottom down here and then look at where you are at now you know this is just so good let's just look at this it's so cool nice consolidation and now it's just popping off and they're way above peg so kind of supply is not crazy and obviously it's been around for at least a few weeks so i know it's not a rug pull i mean i'm not even bothering checking with the renouncing because i don't care like i don't even know what the obsession with renouncing is it's like if the guy's not rug pulling after a few weeks then what do you have to freaking worry about let the dev have the ability to change the contract in case there are any bugs wait a little while and then renounce it so i believe this thing has been i mean I, i'm not even bothering to check with the renounce believe believe it or not because look if it's a scam it's just not going to be here right three weeks like I don't. I can't think of a project where they actually run legitimately for like more than one, two, three weeks, a few months, and then rug pulls. Like, uh, I can't think of any. All right. People keep using the word rug pull. Right. But what they really should be saying is, oh, the project failed. All right. That's what I look for. All right. Because the rug pull risk is basically in the first few hours and the first like week. Right. If you really want to be safe. After one week, if they're still there, then it's probably a legit project. But let's say you're doing tomb forks. Okay, wait two or three weeks because you know this always happens, right? Hyper up, hyper dump, and then a new bottom is established as all the whales and whatever's. And what's nice is everyone kind of knows this too. So, I mean, there's really no excuse for losing money in a tomb fork, unless it's a rug pull scam, of course. Simply because just buy at the freaking bottom. Like, I, I understand emotionally you want to get the greed. I know I kind of have that problem too. And now I'm, I mean, God's changing my heart again because I'm doing the silent prayer, blah, 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 every morning, every night, right? By Jesse Lee Peterson's recommendations. I'm like, you know what? I'll just wait, All right? And again, you have me as a resource and I can kind of figure it out too. Look at the circulating supply, look at the twop or the peg. If something's way over peg, well, guess what? This shit's going to tank, right? It's just a matter of time. In fact, I'm looking at Chicken Farm, right? I haven't done a video on that for a reason. And Partial Finance, right? That's way over peg. Both of these two projects are way over peg. What's happening? Oh, yeah, it's crashing as we speak. And I'm still not going to do a video on it because it's still way over. Okay, you know what? I'll just show you. Mychicken.farm, I think, is the website. Drawing off the top of my head here. Yeah, whatever. I don't need that. Okay, so this is actually now starting to look very attractive to me, right? See, egg, the shares, has gone from like 6,000 to 3,000, now it's at 1812. But here's the important part. I'm now seeing that the peg for chicken is now starting to get close to actual phantom. It's like one to one. So now I'm actually going to actually want to start buying this soon, not yet. All right, I'm still waiting for this thing to bottom out. I want to wait for the FUD. So let's see here. Let me show you. Let me show you exactly what we're looking for. See, look. See, you could see. You know what's going to happen because this is exactly what happens over here. Look, you're right. You have the future in your hands. Like it's literally staring at you. Look, bottoms out, and then you know what happens. It consolidates and eventually goes higher. Right. Same shit with the shares for cream. But look. You're right. You know, people complain about how to make money. Well, I just, I'm just showing you how to make money, right? Just, I don't know how, how much easier God can make this for you. I don't know how much easier I can make this for you. You know what's going to happen. Okay, so just wait. Like, I don't understand why people just can't freaking wait, right? You know, oh, it's because you're letting the emotions get to you. You're letting the thoughts from Satan tell you, you got to buy now, you got to buy now. And then it's like, oh my God, I lost my money. That's exactly Satan's intention, make you lose all your money. And then you get depressed, and then you, and then Satan tells you you might as well, you know, off yourself, and then you actually go commit suicide, and it's very sad. Like that, that's the that, like, 
that's why you have to a not put all your money in a one project you got to spread out just a little bit right diversify and then just take it one day at a time right and look look at the circuit supply of chicken like there's way too fucking many of these so now knowing what i just told you yeah i'm gonna wait on this i mean it's I'd probably be okay buying it and then it drops like a lot, right? But you know, I'm gonna I'm just gonna wait, all right? I'm, I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> okay, so yeah, and then whatever. So I'm just gonna wait on this. Also, this project is is still relatively new, right? My chicken farm. How long has this been out? This came out February 11th, so they've only been live for one week. So again, I want to wait on the renouncing because I know some people are bitching about that, of course. I want to wait to make sure this is not a rug pull, right? You know, safety first. Yeah, and then just wait. I mean, I have to wait anyway because this thing's still way over peg. So it's going to keep crashing. It's in the middle of crashing right now. So let all the futters and paper handers and whatever do its thing. So that's, that, that, that is how I look at all these tomb forks, right? So back to cream, ice cream, very solid. You are, this is already a pretty solid looking project. And they do have custom graphics here. So that's also nice. Plus they have like these things that look like NFTs. So very, very nice. They're coming out with their 3 ohm site, sister, companion site, brother site, Sunday finance. This is just great. I can't, I can't wait. And yeah, C-shares is going down a bit. I don't even know why, but I probably, again, I don't really care. All right, so those are the charts. I got to keep them over for the YouTube description. Now, the APY kind of sucks, but again, you're diversifying risk, right? Risk versus reward. This project is obviously much safer looking, so therefore your rewards will be less. But, I mean, you're still making anywhere from 2.15% up to like 4.5% a day, right? You know, I'm pretty sure, I mean, I, I probably have a lot of, of, of foreigners outside of America. So how much interest are you earning on your bank account, right? Because their central, your central banks are the same assholes that run my central bank here in America. We call it the Federal Reserve, right? They all coordinate together, right, to fuck you over, right? And how do they screw you over? They manipulate everything. But the primary and easiest way they do it is through interest rates, right? Why do you think there's no interest rate in the banks, right? Because they want you to make you poor, Meanwhile, this is fucking happening to your to your currency. Look, this is the amount of U.S. dollars in circulation, and it just goes straight up. The value of dollars is, is actually dying at a rate of 14 to 20 percent for us Americans, right? That's why inflation is going out of control throughout the whole world. It's not just a Europe or America thing. It's all over the place because it's all on purpose. This is what they're doing to you. So you can't make any money off your bank account. You can't make any, any money off the stock markets. You can't make any money off of crypto or precious metals because they're now trying to ban crypto right they're gonna fail hopefully right and you can't and then what are you gonna do that's the point they want you fucking poor right because they see people doing this shit they see people like me doing this shit they see they go on youtube and they look at all the money that people are making off of these stupid videos that people like me make and they're like oh shit we gotta do something we gotta do something right like I still don't understand why people who watch my content, or really any kind in general, still trust their government. You guys have no idea how evil these stupid fucks are, all right? And, and then they always scam you by calling up their media friends and whatever TV media news outlets, which you should not be watching at all. They always trick you into scamming you and think it's someone else's fault, right? Here in America, it's like, oh, it's not the Fed's fault, it's China's fault, it's all these Chinese people's fault, right? And, and then we get beat up and shit and killed, right? That's what's happening here. It's not as bad as it sounds, but it is actually a danger for me personally, because obviously I'm Asian and Chinese. And then, and then what do they do? They keep taking advantage of the situation, but not solving the fundamental problem, because that's the point, right? More fear, more discord, more, not the chat program, but discord is the, the actual literal term meaning for it right more division more like you know it's them it's it's them you know but you know look here but don't look over there okay so you know well with that being said i don't remember which what am i actually in let me see i, I think i'm in c share abax but cream abax would not be a problem either let me see i actually really should be in c share uh abax let me go into my yield wolf here. I am. Oh, okay. I am in both. Okay. All right. So I, I had enough sense to do that. 
So I have C share AVAX and I do have cream AVAX. So I am doing both of the pools because again, they don't have cream C shares because that's actually my preferred pool now because I want everything. On the one hand, I need to buy up the base token to help the protocol. On the other hand, and it's also a safer play technically. On the other hand, I really want the shares because that's where all the money really is going to come from, right? Is holding the shares. So how do you balance out the two, right? You know, so let me see. I'm pretty sure I bought more into C shares, which sucks because it's down a little bit. Okay, and yeah, so I have like 75, so let's say I had like 500 bucks. That's about what I put in, I think. 75% of that went into C share AVAX, which is, because I'm on Chrome, which is over here. Well, I can't highlight it, so I'm over here, you can see my mouse. And they are 25% went into this. So right now, my cream AVAX is worth how much? $79.59, so not a big deal. Actually, I think it went up. And my C share AVAX is worth $318. So I'm just rounding up. So I still have not gotten my compound yet. It's actually two hours ago. That's the only problem with uh, C share cream is there's very little TVL in here. So there's very few people wanting to... Oh my god, can you not lag? I hate this lag because it just delays the video. What is wrong with this fucking site? I'm on Avalanche. Will you load the effing page? Thank you. All right, the last compound was like two hours ago. So yeah, look, the TVL is pretty low because most people are still doing this, which they should, right? Cream AVAX. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should have done 50-50, unfortunately. Oh, wait a minute. I just noticed. Oh, they do have C-Share Cream. Oh, I, I bought this before I realized I should be buying these. Oh, okay. Or maybe I did know about it. Wait, did I even click the correct thing here? Yeah, but even before I, yeah, but even then, there's like very little TVL because most of the money is either in the single state cream or the cream AVAX, which is good because that's what you really should be doing. So, but yeah, I am 25% in the cream AVAX and 75% of the money that I invested allocated for this specific project, C share AVAX. So, I'm basically getting a little under 4% uh, right now per day. So, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, I can't deal with the lag on this. I don't know what's wrong with it. I mean, I don't know, whatever. Okay, so you can take your pick. Now, bear in mind that we are still above peg. In fact, when I first started out, the peg for ice cream was 1.2, I believe. And let me see. Is this going down because, yeah, it's going down because AVAX is down. So crypto is actually going down right now. It's actually happening. That's why the stock markets were doing okay. Okay, so now they're going back down. What's the dollar doing? The dollar is actually up a lot, so we got another fear trade going on, don't we? Okay, yeah, we have, we still have a fear trade. It's not as bad as yesterday, but today is still a fear trade. Okay, so that means crypto is going to be dipping a little bit. Wonderful, and we're going in a weekend. Great. All right, so that's actually why I'm seeing this shit go down when it really shouldn't be. It's, it's actually AVAX pulling everything down. Well. It's really the overall Russia Ukraine FUD bullshit going on. But the good news is as long as they don't actually go to war by February 20th, because that's what idiot Joe Biden, our president, said, then people should start realizing this is bullshit. Like like why do you keep saying Russia's gonna invade this time, that time, and whatever? It's like, okay. It's like the boy that cried wolf. Right? After a while, we, we just we we're just not gonna listen to you. You know? And Ukraine actually has re repeatedly rebuffed Western and American media specifically, like, actually came out and said, will you shut the fuck up and stop fudding the Ukraine-Russia shit? You're causing undue panic, blah, blah. You can, you can just, well, I don't know if Google has censored results for that yet, but, yeah, it's like, even Ukraine themselves, the government is getting really annoyed, you know, with, with thankfully, the West. It's like, you know, like you're over-hyping everything. It's like, what is your problem, right? And Russia's been saying the same thing, too. Right, because don't forget, there's a nego there was a negotiation between France, Germany, Ukraine, and Russia, and they, I forgot the other country. They specifically kept out America, right? Because they said just go after yourselves. So I mean, it, it's so annoying because the and again, it's the central banks. They're all just pulling their strings, doing this shit. 
but all right, whatever. So you can decide which one you want to go into, right? Again, I told you my positions. You know, nothing wrong probably with going at cream AVAX, but again, my I have a longer term outlook on everything, so I always want the shares. You know, now if I could do this over again, would I go into C share cream? I actually don't know. The APY on this is so much lower that it would be better for me to actually do 50 50 into cream AVAX, C share AVAX, get twice the amount of rewards, you know, at twice the complexity as opposed to just simplifying and going C-share cream. So, because again, look, the differential in APYs is basically 2x, right? I literally double my money if I just take, if I just go into both of these pools. And then the benefit is, because everyone's in cream AVAX, I'm pretty sure everyone's like compounding the shit out of this all the time. Yeah, the last compound was seven minutes ago, right? But the last compound on, oh man, I better not do that because this site's lagging like shit. But the last time that someone compounded the C share AVAX pool was like two hours ago, right? Two to three hours ago. So, so technically, I'm not actually getting 4% deal. I'm actually getting less than that, right? But, you know, whatever. I mean, it'll still compound at some point. It'll definitely be way better and easier than if I had to manually do everything anyway. So, all right, whatever. Okay, so I think that's that. This is my third video for today. I'm actually going to, I really want to pump out basedfinance.io. I'll just show it to you. But I'm actually tired. I, see, that's the thing. You got to make sure this is the actual right site. That's, that's the thing. Let me make sure I get the right website. I'm pretty sure that is it. Based. Yeah, and this is on Phantom. Oh, I forgot to mention this. I, I forgot. Uh, what ice cream is on AVAX, right? So I gotta make sure I include that. So this is ba so based finance, for whatever reason, has a shit ton of money in it, and they take Tomb as their peg. So uh, if I didn't know any better, I think they have some kind of partnership with Harry E and Tomb Finance, which is great because that's how I know this is a pretty safe project. So normally I wouldn't like something like this, but the only reason why I still bought into this, right? I only put in like 120 bucks or 180. I mean, I really should say this for the base finance video is because I saw this and I saw it was connected to the tomb. So I figure it's a safe, much safer project, right? I didn't, I didn't do any, I didn't check their Twitter. I didn't check their discord because I didn't want to deal with it anymore. And I was like, oh, okay. Like this is not a, this is not an accident, right? And I don't think you can fake this number either. So, and well, they're, and they're definitely not faking because then Yield Wolf would not fake it either. Because Yield Wolf has like $2 million in their their base pair here. So, but anyway, uh, I'm, I'm going to just save that for tomorrow, I think. Okay. So you can decide what you want to do with Ice Cream Finance, right? Uh, so you can just do 50-50. That's actually the better play. I'm already too lazy to deal with this shit. So I'm like, yeah, whatever. Let it run. All right. I already have 25% of my investment allocation for cream Ice Cream Finance into this. And then when Sunday Finance does come out. I don't actually know when. I think they said in a couple of weeks as well, just like Zilla Finance. I don't know. I, in a way, I actually don't care because when I when Sunday Finance does come out, you know, all this shit's going to pop off anyway because I assume they're going to need the these tokens as the Genesis pool tokens for Sunday Finance. So, I don't know. Maybe I should actually care because it's literally... Well, I have to pull it out of Yield Wolf... Uh, no, I don't care. I don't care about Genesis pools. It's like, whatever. All right. I'll just take profit from cream and C share thingy over here with my fully compounded profits. Right. And then just enjoy the ride. Excuse me. And then I just keep buying more and more projects. So, all right. I've rambled on long enough. I'm done for the day. I'll see you all, I guess tomorrow, because tomorrow is Saturday and I do want to pump out I want to pump out based finance and magic finance. However, I might do my chicken farm if by tomorrow it actually crashes and then I buy into that. So, man, I don't know if I'm going to ever pull out money so I could pay my rent, man. It's like there's just so much opportunity. Man. I want to keep buying and buying, but, uh, man, I really, I just wish I didn't get fucked on Metaverse Pro, man. It's just so, well, whatever. Uh, that's just how it goes. 
Spread the video around, blah, 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 blah. Like, subscribe. Thank you, by the way, because everyone's been subscribing and sharing my videos. I, or at least a lot of people are just coming out of, like, the woodworks, like, because I'm constantly doing these projects. So thank you all. And at the end of the day, we're all in this together, right? It doesn't matter what project we're in or where we come from. We're all in this together because it's really us, the people, versus the central banks. So, you know, everything else is just noise. So, you know... You can screw over the system by getting rich. Like, believe it or not, that's really all that it takes, right? Because you'll be like, yo, why are you doing this, right? Because you become a different person when you actually become rich, right? You know, that's just, I guess, how God made it, which is fine, right? Because, I don't know, I don't know if there was a Bible quote, I'm sure there is, but basically it's like when you work for something, you're appreciated more, but then it's more about who you become as you work harder, right? It's not so much about going to the gym and lifting weights, which is ultimately what you do. It's about the person you become as you keep lifting weights. You know, you, your mindset, your soul, and whatever changes, all right? Well, actually, it's God that changes you. But God has all these things to have you do that so that you change for the better, hopefully, all right? Assuming you listen uh, to God, that is. All right, see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Blah, 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 blah.